Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Since today is Tuesday and it's Unity Tips Day on Twitter, I figured why not do a quick video on some of my favorite tips. So I'm going to start off with the best one, which is recovering from a Unity crash when you forgot to save your scene. So here I've got a little test scene with a game object and a script that will just force a crash. The code's right here. It just causes the editor to blow up and go away and lose my changes. So here I'm going to go in and create a cube and then maybe I'll put in a sphere and we'll just use our imaginations and pretend that I did a whole bunch of work here but I forgot to save and I hit play and oh in came the crash so I've got a crash here you know the editor definitely blew up I'm gonna close it I'm gonna reopen the editor and the editor came back up my changes are gone now let me do this one more time and show you the trick to save it so here I'll create another cube and then I'll create a, oh, let's just create a cylinder. There we go. I'm not going to save this time. Still, I'm going to hit play. We'll get another crash. There we go. Engine has crashed again. Now, before I restart, what I'm going to do is browse to the folder where this project is. In there, alongside the assets folder is a temp folder. Go into the temp folder and then go into backup scenes. Now, take this zero dot backup file copy it up into your assets folder and then rename it zero dot unity it's gonna ask me if I want to change the extension and I do now I'll reopen and I have the zero dot unity file right here which is the scene and it's actually in my scene right before I crashed so there we go I've got the file I've recovered and I'm good to go now it's important to remember though don't start the editor as soon as you do these files get cleared out so you need to copy the file first have you ever moved a game object while you were in play mode, maybe rotated it, scaled it, and got it into the perfect position, and then realized you were playing and you were about to lose your changes? No problem, you can just right click on the transform, hit copy component, stop playing, and then paste in your component values to get back to exactly where you were when you were playing. This next one's really simple, but gets looked over a lot, and it's the ability to copy and paste colors. Just right click, copy, right click and paste, get your color over there without worrying about reading out hex values or anything else. If you want to listen to music while you're working but there's too much noise, hit the mute audio button right there to silence it all out. If you have a lot of sound in your game? If so, use the audio mixer groups, assign them to each audio source, and then you can easily adjust levels at runtime and get everything perfect. You can even mute them individually or add special effects. The add effects section right here. If you find yourself with a game object that has a bunch of children but the pivot isn't right in the middle and you want to center it, just go to game object, click center on children and it's all fixed. If you have a script with private variables like this timer has, you can go in the inspector and switch to debug mode and they'll become visible. If your code formatting gets messed up in Visual Studio, you can hold down control, hold down control still and hit D to fix it all up. If you want to use a new variable before you've declared it, like this, you can just use control period to generate the field automatically. If you have a chunk of code like this that you want to split into a separate method, you can just select it all, hit control period, and then hit enter to extract the method, and then just give it a name. So these are just 10 of my favorite tips. If you like these and want to see more, just let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.